What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sweat with Self. My name is Latoya. And my name is Julius. And today we're going to take you guys through a 20 minute arm workout. Yes, so you don't need any equipment for these workouts, but you will need your body in a soft surface like a yoga mat because we will be on the floor. So okay. before we get started, we're going to take you through a nice little warm up, okay? Right. So we're going to get some big arm circles going backwards, okay? Try to get some space if you're doing this with somebody. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna get a big reach up and around. Okay. All right. And then we'll come forward, big reach. This should help open up your shoulders, open up your chest. We're gonna go both ways here, just get in a few reps each way. Yes. One more big one. All right, now we're gonna do some cross swings with an arm pull, okay? So we're gonna open up in the back and then come across and pull, open, and then pull, okay? Yep. So you can pull the opposite arm or give yourself a nice big hug. Just opening up in the upper back and then opening in the shoulders here. Yep. Okay, we'll do a few more. Just to open up. Okay, we're hitting the entire upper body. Yep. Okay, so you want to make sure this is nice and loose. So if exactly. you need to do a little bit more, feel free to do so. Okay. okay. All right, and then now we're going to get into a down dog position to open up that upper middle back and our shoulders a little. All right, so we're going to go up and set our hips back. All right. Really drive your hips back. We'll and return to a, a plank, plank position. Okay. And then we'll really extend back and pull it through. So you want to really want to press through the floor. Try to press to where you can open up your middle back here, okay? One more. All right. And good. Okay, now your okay. arm should be nice and warm, fired up. Yep. All right, so we're going to take you guys through six different exercises, okay? We're going to go 30 seconds each exercise with a 15 second break. We'll do three exercises, give you a nice little break, and then move on to the next three. Exactly. Okay, okay. so for the first exercise, we're going to do a in and out push up, yep. okay? So we'll start with our hands underneath our shoulders. We'll do one push up, okay? We'll spread them out, get really wide, and then do another push up. We'll alternate for 30 seconds here. Yep. Okay, so we'll start here in about five seconds. Okay, right. four, three, two, one, and go. Okay. All right, and then if you're following me, we're gonna do the same thing, but a more modified version on our knees. Yep. Okay, so we're still getting into the arm, still hitting our chest, just modifying just a little. Yes, so we're just going inside and out. Okay, be sure to squeeze your glutes so your back is nice and flat. Yep. And three, two, one. Good job. Right. Okay, next we're gonna go into a plank up down. So we'll be back in that push up position. Yep. Okay, we'll drop one elbow, second elbow, up and up, and then we'll alternate sides. Okay. Three, and two, and go. go. So again, we're gonna do the same thing, but on our knees. All right, we're still trying to keep our hips flat to the ground. Yep. You want to keep your core nice and engaged. Okay, this is also an ab exercise just as much as it is an arm exercise. Okay. Five, four, three, two, good. All right. Okay, last exercise, we're going to be on our stomachs. Okay, we're gonna have our arms straight out. We'll pull open, try to squeeze those shoulder blades. We're gonna do a figure four, touch behind our back, and then back down. Okay, right. and go. All right, and if you're following me, we're gonna do what's called a Superman, more modified version. Still squeezing our scaps in the back and coming up as high as we can. Keep your core engaged here. It's gonna help protect your lower back. Yes, squeeze your glutes. Pull open those shoulder blades, try to touch figure four behind your back, then return back to the bottom. Okay, in three, two, one, and relax. Good work. Okay, take 30 seconds. Yep. We're gonna go into the next group of exercises, yep. okay? All 
Right. Arms should be nice and fired up. Exactly. I feel so pretty it's a good. Time to grab a towel, grab some water if you need it, and we'll meet back for the next group. Yes. Okay. Right. So for the first exercise of the next group, we're going to go into a tricep uh, push-up. Okay. So we'll be a little bit more extended. Okay. We'll drive down to our elbows. We'll press up through the palms, just like that for 30 seconds. Okay. And go. All right. So again. We're gonna go on our knees. That just helps us to keep our hips and core engaged a little bit. Just modifies the exercise a little, but we are still working our arms. Yes. Okay. You should feel your triceps working here. Okay. Again, pressing up through the palms, putting a lot of pressure into the ground. Three, two, one. Good job. Okay. So for the next exercise, we're gonna do a hand tap with a shoulder tap, okay? Yep. So this is all about having control. Okay, again, we're gonna engage the core still. We'll go one hand tap, one hand tap, shoulder and shoulder, okay? All right. And go. And if that's a little bit too difficult, you can just stop at the hand tap. And again, control each movement as you're going by keeping your hips square to your mat. Yes. Pull in your belly button. Okay, we're gonna hold each of these for about a second with a nice yep. little stick. Okay, five seconds. And relax. Good job. All right. Okay, so for the last exercise, we're gonna do some dips. Okay, so we'll be straight. If you're following me, we'll have straight legs. We'll drive our butt to the ground and we'll extend up through the arms here. Okay? All right. And if you're following me, we're gonna have our feet or our knees bent with our heels down. All right. And if that's still a little too difficult, you can use those hips on the way up to help assist you as well. Yes. So we're really trying to squeeze our glutes at the top to ensure that our legs are nice and straight. Okay. Yep. We want to extend all the way up to where we feel our triceps. Okay. Three, two, one and relax good okay good work okay right. so we're going to take a 60 second break let your arms relax and calm down if you yep. need to grab a drink grab a towel do so and we'll rotate the entire circuit back at the top yep all right and if you're following me on the modifications on the ones where we're on our knees we still want to keep our core engaged yes okay and we're still getting our arms being modified as well too. yes so do whatever is most comfortable for you to have good form all right yes so okay. consider this a core workout, ab well. workout, just as much as it is upper body. We are working the upper body, but you really have to engage your abs and to make each one of these exercises effective, okay? okay? All right, guys, 10 seconds. We're gonna go back to that in and out push up. Again, we'll be back to that plank position on our palms, okay? We'll start with our hands underneath our shoulders and go, okay? And then we'll spread them out wide and really try to get that chest as close to the ground as you can. All right, and again, here we're on our knees, but we're still keeping our hips tucked and core engaged. Okay, be sure to squeeze your glutes. Keep your back flat. You don't want to dip your hips, right? Okay, five seconds. All right. Nice. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go back to that plank up down. Yep. Just be sure that you're switching sides as you're coming up. Yep. You don't wanna work just one arm here, okay? Okay. All right, three seconds, two, one. Okay, drop, drop. Extend up to the hands. Yep. Okay, squeeze your core here just to make sure your back is nice and flat. Exactly. Again, rotating, switching, which palm is pressing up. Three, right. two, nice work. Okay. Good, okay. All right. Back on our stomachs, we're gonna go back into that figure four. Yep. Be sure to pinch those shoulder blades, touch behind if you can, and then return back. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, and go. Pinch, open, Squeeze figure four, back down. All right, and if you're following me, we're just gonna stay squeezing the shoulder blades, but also squeezing your glutes and core as you come up. Yes, and again, to be sure this isn't 
going into your lower back, squeeze your glutes. Yep. As you squeeze your shoulder blades. All right, three. And relax. Great. Right. Okay, take that 30 seconds yep. before we go into the second group of exercises. Yes. Good work. All right, so again, we're gonna start back at the tricep extensions, okay? So even if you're on your knees doing this, still try to push up with your arms. Yes, okay. okay. Again, really engage your core here. We are extended, okay? This is really good for your triceps. We're gonna start back in five, three, two, one. Okay, fall onto your elbows, press up through the palms. Good, so you really wanna keep your core engaged on this one. Keep your hips tucked, glutes squeezed. Yep. Keep everything nice and engaged, nice and tight. Yep. Core is working with your arms, arms working with the core. Almost there. Okay, five seconds. All right, good All right, work. Great job. Okay. okay. Back to the hand, hand, shoulder, shoulder. shoulder. Okay. Get like a second pause, just to ensure that you're working your core and working your upper body. Yep. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, hand tap, hand, shoulder, Shoulder. All right, and if you're following me for the modified version, we're just tapping our hand. You can also take a second hold here. Yep. Okay. All right, great job. Keep this, keep the core tight. Almost there, about ten seconds. Three, two, one. Nice work. All right. Okay. We're gonna finish up with those dips. Again, if you're following me, get those legs straight out, squeeze your glutes to create that bridge, and then we're gonna dip our hips down to the floor. In three, two, one, down and up. All right, again, if you're following me, we're gonna bend the knees and have our heels up, okay? And again, if that's too much, you can also use your hips to assist you on the way up. Yes, and if this is tough on your wrists, you can elevate these if you have a chair or an ottoman at yep. home. Okay, you can elevate yourself and it should be a lot easier on your wrists. Exactly. <sighs> you just wanna keep your elbows pointing straight back, squeezing those triceps at the top. Three, two, one. Good work. Okay, okay. Right. big 60 second break here. Yes. You earned it. Take a break, grab a drink, grab yep. a towel, and then we'll return right back to the top for one more set. Yep, again, so this is gonna be the last set, so really challenge yourself, push yourself to get in a few more reps than you did on these first two sets, yes. okay? Good. All right. Are your that arms should fired? be yeah. nice and fired up, little pump going on. I feel my triceps a lot too. <laughs> They're pumped. All right, and so you should feel your core a little bit as yep. well. Again, a lot of this, we wanna keep the hips facing the ground, so you still will have your core engaged, yes. okay? Yes, can't have enough abs. All right, back to that in and out push up, okay? Hands underneath the shoulders in yep. three, two, one. Last set, guys. Let's get a few more reps. Let's push it a bit here. Let's fire up our arms. Yep. You should feel your triceps. You should feel your chest, your abs, everything working. Last 10 seconds. And really push yourself here for these last few reps. All right, nice. great job, great job. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go back to those plank up downs. Yep, okay, back to that plank position. All right, in three, two, down, down, up, up, and be sure to switch. All right, and you wanna press up off that palm, but still keep your hips facing towards the mat. Yes. Okay, about 10 seconds, guys. Almost there. Yep. Three, two, one. Okay. Good job. Okay, right. back to those figure fours. Let's get a big squeeze in our scaps. Okay, yep. it's gonna help open up our shoulders and hit the middle back, okay? Yep. All right, squeeze the glutes. Three seconds, two, one. Okay, big open squeeze, figure four. 
All right, and here we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades back. Last set of these. Good, really push yourself to get in a couple more reps than we did last set, so last one. Almost there, about 10 seconds. You should feel behind the shoulders. Yep. Working pretty good. And three, two, one. Nice work. Okay. Okay, one more 30 second break here and then we're gonna go back to that last set of tricep extension, hand to shoulder tops and floor dips. Yes. Okay, so last three exercises. Good work. Okay, so we'll be back in that push up plank extended position. We'll have those yep. hands in front. Okay, let's start back in about 10 seconds. The further out your hands, the harder it is, yes. especially you'll have to engage your core a lot more, okay? All right. Three, two, one, last set. Drop to the elbows, press through the palms. Yep. So you really wanna squeeze your triceps at the top here. Get a little bit more contraction through the arms. Let's get a few more reps here. This is the last set. Let's push through. Good, 10 more seconds. Yep. Nice. All right, great Good. job. All, All right. right. Next, hand, hand, shoulder, shoulder. Yep. Okay. Let's get that good pause. Okay. Four, three, two, hand, hand. All right. Shoulder. Show. So even if you're modifying here, still give yourself a little pause once you tap the hand. Exactly. Okay, good, keep those hips towards the ground. That'll help you engage your core. All right guys, we got about five seconds. Three, two, one, good. Okay. Okay, we're All gonna right. finish this up with the dips, feet extended out, or if you need some assistance, bend your knees like Latoya, okay? Exactly. All, All right, right, three, two, one, hips up, squeeze the glutes, and drop. Good, this is the last one here, so challenge yourself, see how far out you can straighten those legs. Yep. Good, squeezing triceps at the top, Again, if you need to, you can use your hips to assist you on the way up as well. Okay, last 10 seconds, guys. Let's get a few more reps. In five, four, three, two. Ooh. That'll do it. All right. Oh, my goodness. Great job. Yep. My upper body. Arms should be on fire now. Nice tricep work. We got some shoulder work in there and definitely hit our core as well. So after every good workout, it's important that we do a nice little cool down stretch it out and yes. get our heart rate down. Yes. Okay. So we're going to just start in a kneeling position. Yep. We're going to open up our lats in the side of our body. We did hit the triceps a lot. So yep. this will help open that up as well. Yep. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll grab our elbows up top. Okay. From here, we'll lean out to our right. Try to really open up this entire side of the body. You might feel even a stretch through your lats here too. Yep. Okay. Try to extend as far as you can. Okay. All right. So shake it out. Okay, we'll do the other side. Grab that elbow, reach, extend over. Okay, and then also you wanna to try to reach that hand as far down your back as you can. Yep, that'll help get into the triceps a little deeper. Exactly. Okay, cool. All right, okay, now we're gonna interlock our fingers, but behind our back. All right, and then we're gonna try to keep our core tucked in nice and tight and then pull back on the shoulders, but don't let it arch your back too much. Try to keep your core nice and engaged. Yes. Okay. You feel like your shoulders are pretty rounded or you have um, tight shoulders. This is a good little chest opener to kind of open that up. Yep. Okay, really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, cool. Release there, shake it out. Yep, and then the last stretch that we tend to neglect a lot, we do have muscles in our forearms and our biceps, so we're gonna open that up as well. Okay, so first we'll start with our palms. Okay, our fingers facing our body. Okay, so we wanna 
put light pressure into the ground. You don't want to put all of your weight into it, okay? So if you can get those palms to the ground, we're going to shift back, okay, to where we feel a nice stretch through the inside of your forearm here, yeah. okay? So this is a really good stretch to help open that up. If you type a lot throughout the day, um, this is a really good stretch for that too, okay? So hold that, you want to shift as far back as you can, okay? Shake that out, okay, we'll do a couple rotations in, couple out. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have the top of our hand down into the mat. Okay, again, don't put a lot of pressure into this. Okay, you don't wanna snap your wrist here. Okay, really try to spread your fingers out and then again, shift back into your heels. Now you should feel a nice stretch through uh, the top of the forearm here, okay? All right, and remember to breathe through these two. That'll help relax the muscles a little. Yes, okay. All right, shift it up top, rotate in, yep. rotate yeah. out, and we're good. All right, so thank you guys again. That was a full arm workout that we did there. Hopefully you feel nice and strong after that workout, and we'll see you guys at the next see one. See you at the next one.